What is going on, YouTube? Fine, it's your boy Tony Two Times, and we back with another episode of Hood Tales, man. Before I start, be sure to like, comment, share. Definitely watch the video to the end. Let's get right into it. Street beef on any level is dangerous, and in some situations, the people beefing have no mercy for the other side. I was taught your squad is only going to be on what the leader is on. If the boss likes to get money, then more than likely, the squad will get money. Vice versa, if the boss is a robber or a hitter. But also in situations, money talks. A lot of younger dudes are trying to find their way out here. And if it's money on somebody's head, they might be up for the challenge, especially if it's a so-called op. And in the steel city, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, a street war will lead to bodies dropping and a bunch of sliding. And on this episode of Hood Tales, we will be discussing the z Hoove gang and their war against the Dark Side gang in Pittsburgh. According to sources, z Hoove got their name from their area of the city, the Belts Hoover neighborhood. Dark Side Hood, which was tore down with St. Clair Village public housing. The gangs would go at each other with leaders allegedly dropping money for hits so the younger generation could eat and make a name for themselves. And back in 2014, this would lead to three days full of hits, allegedly with six people shot and two gone. Let's discuss some alleged situations. When three z Who members decide to slide one day, a 29-year-old sanitation worker was sitting in his car waiting to start his shift. Unfortunately, his car would be hit up, leaving the man gone. The whip being a Cadillac, according to sources, members of z Who made a mistake and thought it was a top member of Dark Side who drove the same car and usually hung out in that area. But it later came out the worker wasn't gang related. Four members of z Who would later be indicted. On this hit, three alleged shooters and one of the big dugs who allegedly put the money up on a dark side member. The bounty was 5,000 for a non-fatal shooting and 25,000 for a successful hit. As the leader of z Who, 43 years old at the time, was allegedly getting street money with Brits of Smack coming in from New Jersey to take care of the game and finance the war. Not too long after a back and forth shooting spree would happen between the two gangs, lasting for over two days before a triple shooting would happen in the 3100 block of Cordell Place in Arlington Heights of three dark side members. Police arrived to the scene to find three men hit but in stable condition. They would use video surveillance in the area to track down two vehicles in an attempt to hit. The whips were located on Industry Street and were allegedly connected to z Who. Five members would be charged in this situation. Later that same day, Darkside would try to get some get back by hitting up a car in which they thought the z Who leader was in, since it was the same as that whip, and the men looked alike. Just to make the same mistake, the z Who hitters made and hit the wrong person, leaving him gone as well. More sliding would happen and take place back and forth, but z Who also had other situations to deal with. And when members allegedly snatched the man up and put hands on him, the victim would tell police it was the gang. The z Who allegedly used the victim's shop to repair bullet holes and rental cars in which the victim would often buy smack from the gang to sell in the streets. And when the shop owner and victim thought he bought some bad smack from the gang, he tried to take it back, leading the z Who members zapping out, telling him chill before he gets hit, even pin the blicky in his mouth. But he would eventually just get beat and put out. When one man stole from the gang, he would be allegedly hit in the leg by the big man, for what later was to be called discipline. Allegedly, a man hit the stash house and found bricks of smack in the cabinet. Being a user himself, he decided to take some of the smack. The man tried to play cool and keep coming around, but the z Who eventually figured it out and ended up disciplining the man by shooting him in his leg. By this time, police were investigating gangs in the city, and z Who was top on the list. From the alleged hits, trafficking, and dropping bags on ops, the DA was allegedly watching the gang the whole time, though, for years. But the hits bore indictments down, charging members with kidnapping, attempts, hits, robbery, and trapping with the big man receiving 20 years and other members getting different times for their roles. Police and prosecutors painted the gang as ruthless, leaving residents of Pittsburgh scared and the streets of war zone. One of the biggest situations being the sanitation worker, who was a family man and hid in the case of mistaken identity. 
so the court system tried to smash and dismantle the game. Rest in peace to the innocent men that lost their lives. Some say money talk, and for the right price, your own homie might turn on you. Being accepted is big nowadays, especially in the gangs. An OG could drop a bag, but is it worth your freedom? So we gotta remember, we gotta succeed, not to fail. So you won't be just another hood tab. Man, crazy story, you feel me? Shout out to Pittsburgh, you feel me? Shout out to whole Pennsylvania. And it's crazy because you know y'all here for yourself, man. Allegedly, these boys was getting real active. And it's crazy because the big dog or the big man of the organization, who was 43 years old at the time, he had the bag, allegedly, you feel me? He had all the product, he had all the smack, he was getting the money. So he was dropping bags, you feel me, to get people out of there, you know? And the crazy thing to me with the whole lifestyle or whatever, if y'all a team and y'all riding for the same thing, I never understood why a person had to drop a bag because y'all riding for the same thing. Y'all got the same enemies. Y'all got the same common interests protecting y'all neighborhood and getting the enemies out the way. But I guess the big does be dropping the bag so the younger dudes can eat, you feel me? Which is understandable. But when I was growing up, it was different ways of eating, you know, but nowadays, you know, taking hits, that's what it's all about, you feel me? There's a lot of hit squads out here. And really it's sad because a lot of times, man, they ain't really got no regard for life, you feel me? Because at the end of the day, when you hit an innocent person, people feel like, oh, that's just a casualty of war. Like, we won, we ain't know that was an innocent person. We thought that was somebody else. Yeah, but that's a big mistake, you feel me? You took somebody whole life. Like, it ain't like you could take that back and say, I'm sorry, and they could come back to life, you know? So you gotta be careful out here and watch what you're doing, you feel me? And some people be so happy or they feel like we got an out, we call them lacking, that they don't even get a good look. They see a car, they feel like that's the same kind of car he be in and they just let off shots hitting the wrong person. But yeah, man, sad situation, real sad story, man, you feel me? Two innocent people lost their life, you know what I mean, in this unfortunate war because they trying to say dark side hit an innocent victim as well, thinking it was the leader of z Who. So it just go back and forth, man. But yeah, shout out to Pennsylvania. But y'all already know, man, this is another episode of Hood Tales. Be sure to like, comment, share. If you watch the video to the end, I appreciate it. Hit that like button. This your boy Tony two times. Love y'all, fam. I'm out.